Now you have a choice here. You can do drag and drop or, or game maker language. If you're a more independent programmer and you get tired of the training wheels of drag and drop, you can, you can start out in game maker language and do everything in game maker language rather than in drag and drop. But you're not going to get specific help from me on how to do it. Uh, you, you probably have to sleuth that out on your own. Uh, at least I won't do it in class, but if you have a question about it, certainly I'll help you out. Um, so we're going to do drag and drop. And again, you want to put your game in your, uh, your home folder, not on your desktop or your documents folder. So let's, uh, let's do that. Let me pause here. So I'm just saving it into my, uh, my home folder. Mine's a little different than yours, but uh, here I'm in game design. Making a new game. So I'm going to call this one, um, hmm. Let's just call it Lazarus. How do you spell Lazarus? That's how you spell Lazarus, I think. L-A-Z-A-R-U-S. You can call it something else. But that's the name of the little character. So we'll save that. Now we have our game. We have a default room already, already there, uh, but really nothing else. Uh, we look at our default room. It looks like that. So I'm going to go back to my reference game just to see how big the room is. So here's the room. It looks like our... our our grid size is 40 by 40, and our room size is, where was that, where, where would that be? Hmm. One, two, three, four, I think 640 by 480, which is relatively small. We might increase the size of this, but maybe not. Okay, so the first thing we need to change is our, is our grid size. Instead of using 32-bit sprites, we're going to use a, uh, 40-bit sprites, and for y, we do the same. So change, change that to uh, 40 for each one. Now our boxes are the right ones. Oh, I didn't change it, did I? We wanted 40 by 40. Now that we have our grid size right, uh, what we want to do is create our sp first sprites. Uh, so right-click on sprites, create sprite, and we'll create this. What sprite do we want to create? Um, well, let's name it SPR. So SPR underscore, uh, we'll call this wall, I guess. This is our wall sprite. I've noticed there's a few people that don't rename their sprites or their objects. You're really kind of setting yourself up for a couple of bad things. First of all, if you happen to call, if you happen to call the wall, uh, they call the sprite wall and you call the object wall too. They both have the same name, then Game Maker gets completely confused. So that's bad. For those people who are, um, uh, aren't, aren't renaming their objects, maybe it says sprite zero, sprite one, uh, object zero, object one. That's not good enough on this game. If you do that, then you will not get a four. There's just no way to do that. You have to take the time to rename your sprites and your objects. So where are the sprites for this? All right, so, so we have sprite wall. Where do we get the uh, sprites from? Well, here we want to go to our, our classes folder. And remember, we put the classes folder on our desktop. So there's my classes folder. I'm going to go there. Then I go to game design. And the, the one we're looking at is this one, Lazarus. I used to do Lazarus first, but it's a little complicated. I like the maze game. So we're, we're going to do Lazarus now. And then our sprites are in here. If you want to see what the sprites look like, then you want to go medium icons. It doesn't really show them, though. Oh, there they are. Okay. Some of these are animations. Some of these are just static sprites. Uh, we want to make the one for the wall, so I would choose this one. This is our wall sprite. That's the one you want, okay? So I'm going to pause here and make sure everybody gets there. This. If you look at our room size, it says 1024 by 768, which is a standard uh, size, but it's for the wrong aspect ratio. Uh, 
I wonder if that's the size we should use here. I don't think that's the right size because 1024 isn't evenly divisible by 40, right? Well, I wonder why it works there. This is the old, is this the old version? No, this is the new version of GameMaker. So I'm going to look at the old version and see what size the room is. Again, yeah, it's 600 by, 600 by 480, I think. See down here at the bottom, X is 600. Oops. I don't want to edit this, but um, yeah, so this is six, 640 by 480. So let's just go with that size here. So we're changing our room size to 640. And then uh, here we'll say 480. And now our room is uh, much smaller. If you want to zoom in on your room in and out, you can hold the control key and then just roll your my mouse wheel. That allows you to zoom in and out. So relatively small room size, but that's okay. Here, over here on the left, a 640 by 480. So really small. Now go to your room, and then over here on the left, you should see the width and height of the room. So we're changing that. We want to make sure the room, since our grid size is, is, is 40, we want to make sure that the numbers we use for the room size are evenly divisible by 40. Okay? So go to the room and change that. 640 by 480. Okay, so now we have the right room size. Uh, Let's also make our, um, hmm. we want to make our background, so we're going to create Sprite here. And this is our background. Well, let's see, we're on the background layer. Hmm. I think this is how we do it. I don't know. Let's give this a try. Sprite background. I think you have to make background sprite. So there's our background. And then uh, we'll import it. And our background is hmm, that one. And that should fill up the whole room. Now um, go back to our room. See, it doesn't have that background yet. So this is where you need to go to the background layer. So right now, the instances layer is the, the active layer. We want to change that to background. OK? So change that to background. And then here, we can just load that sprite we just made. So here, choose our background sprite. And now we have our room. So right there, choose that. That's going to be like the setting the stage for the game. That's what it looks like. OK. So we have some artwork there. That's nice. Uh, let's create then next our object. We don't have any objects yet, so we're going to make a wall object. So here I'm, I, I right click again and say create object. And then here we say object, uh, object wall. Now obviously what we do next is we choose the wall sprite. And we want to make our wall solid. And now we can start building our little room here. We're going to make a little test room. So make sure to check the solid checkbox. This is super important. So here's room. And now we can drag in 
our walls. Oh, we're on the wrong layer. Make sure you're on the instances layer. So it's, make sure to switch it back to instances. And then drag this over here. And what we're doing is just making a little shallow room. You can hold down the Alt key and then paint with it. Yeah, so this isn't going to work if, um, if your grid size isn't set. Okay, so double check. If, if your blocks don't line up, make sure these say 40 by 40. Uh, and then you'll have it. Uh, you'll and then you want to make a little test room. We want to we see what Lazarus does when he's just sliding to the left and right, but also jumping left and right. So we're going to make two little piles here. One there and maybe one here. So we want to see if Lazarus can jump up. Lazarus can jump up one box, but can't jump up two boxes. So there's a limitation there. Um, just one square. Yeah, but Lazarus can fall. So if he's up on a, type, a tall platform type thing. Yeah, let's make it like this. Okay. So just make a, a test room, maybe, maybe like this. We want to get uh, opportunities for Lazarus to move left and right, but also jump left and right. So he can only jump up one square. He can't get out at this point. He, he would need some help from boxes stacking up to get out. So the boxes are bad, but they're also good too. They stack up and give you a stairway to get out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me show you what to do. There. So now we have our uh, we have our uh, walls. Now we want to create our standing Lazarus object. Uh, so first we need a sprite for that. So again, we we're creating a new sprite here. Create sprite, and this will be uh, sprite Lazarus. Well, let's just say Laz. Laz and then stand. So this is the standing Lazarus. This is the Lazarus that's not moving. Which sprite do we use? Well, you got to be careful here because there's two that looks like, like Lazarus. This one is an icon that's used for the video or for the game to be a, like a shortcut on your desktop. That's the wrong size. It's this one you want. It's actually animated. I guess he blinks every once in a while. Well, it might not be animated, but we just say, say open, and now we have Lazarus. Um, but we have a problem here. Well, I'll show you what the problem is. So uh, I'm going to put Lazarus in the room. Oh wait, we have to create a Lazarus object first. Okay, so let's. Uh, yeah, the green background is not working, so we'll, we'll have to fix that. But I want everyone to see it before I fix it. Um, so create object. We have our sprite. This is object las stand. Object las stand. And we'll choose our Lazarus sprite. So now... Now we can put Lazarus in the room because we've got the sprite, we've got the object that uses the sprite. Now it's we're ready to put him in the room. But the problem is you get this big green square, which is rather unsightly, right? The problem is the green was supposed to be the transparent color. In the old version of, of Game Maker, they used the bottom left corner pixel as the transparent color. But now nowadays they actually have a transparent color. Uh, in a lot of the sprites. So we have to go and put that in the sprite. So go to the sprite, and this is the first time we're actually editing a sprite. So go to the sprite, and then uh, edit it. And here, uh, we did this once before. We said, color remove tool. See that one there? It's the fourth one in on the toolbox. 
click on that and then just click on the pick uh, on the color you want to get rid of. In this case, it's the green. And now you get this checkerboard pattern, but that's just telling you it's transparent. Okay. So again, what did I do? I clicked here, and then I clicked there. And now the green is gone. Now when we look in our room, we see Lazarus in the room without the green square around him. Okay. Okay, so that's all I, I wanted to do today was tr trying to get this set up. You can 